you magical people out there. I do hope that you are well. Dilly's watching videos in the background, so that's probably what the noise you can hear. Anyway, on today's video, I will be showing you all what I have purchased from York. This lovely canvas bag. If you like the video, then please click on the subscribe button or the follow button to be part of our unique magical family. Anyway, on with the video, because I can't wait to dive into this bag. So, myself and Tilly went to York for the night. We went down to Shambles. Um, we visited the Harry Potter shop, which is called the shop that must not be named. We also visited a few other shops, um, the Potions Cauldron, um, which is all situated down the Shambles. And it does look like Diagon Alley. It's not very long. However, it does look like Diagon Alley. If you haven't seen the pictures, they're further on down on our Facebook page. Check it out at the Potter Room. So let's dive in. I have purchased some Harry Potter things, obviously. I've also purchased some things from the Potions Cauldron. So check them out. First things first, chocolate frogs. Now you can't beat a good chocolate frog. Um, already at this one because it is so nice um however i will be keeping the packaging because i do want to sort out my honey jukes shelf because i have a giant chocolate frogs box on there um just officially licensed and i do want to move it somewhere i just don't know where yet um but i did get the cards and it's hengist of woodcroft and delvin whitehorn so these will be stuck as the rest of them are stuck on the Honeyduke shelf. I also purchased the Night Bus. As a Stenshun Pike cosplay, cosplayer, I have to have the Night Bus. I need something to conduct. Plus, it is a money box. So my whole idea is to fill this up because we are going to the studios in December. Um, it's first time going for Hogwarts in the snow, so any cash or anything like that will be going in here. Um, so that's and that's what I'll be using because I do have a habit of just be. I'm not very good with money, so night bus can't go anywhere without my night bus. Jelly slugs. Now, I do actually think that in Chamber of Secrets, when Ron was vomiting, when he was uh, vomiting up slugs, they were flavoured. Uh, they were flavoured, and I do think he said that they did actually taste quite nice, from what I can tell. However, I didn't think that he ate them. Now, these flavours are Juicy Pear, Sour Cherry, Tangerine, Watermelon and Banana. And these are by Jelly Belly. I don't think I've ever tried these. These kind of things I do not keep the packaging off. I've also got the mini book of spells and charms. This is so cute. I thought I could even take it to work with me. Let's learn all about the spells. Charm my colleagues, you know. Got some brilliant pictures, some really good facts as well. Um, yeah, manufactured in, from Expelliarmus to Expecto Patronum. Explore the off screen magic that brought the spells and charms of the wizarding world to life. I just thought it was really cute. And it would look brilliant on my wall of wands. Pin time. I'm starting to put together um, my pin frame. This was eight pounds, but I could not say go wrong. This is soft enamel. Um, oh my days! I've never known that. Look, right? 
you can actually move the Ford Angular. Angular? I can never say that right. Look. Ah, this is a double class pin and it is the Hogwarts Express and the Ford Angler flying from the Chamber of Secrets. Soft enamel, um, which basically means, as far as I'm aware, soft enamel uh, is where you can feel the ridges of each line where hard enamel, which is where it's soft completely through. As far as I'm aware, I'm not a technician. Now, from the potions cauldron, I've got a thing about butterbeer, um, collecting like all different types of butterbeer because there's a lot of different types out there, not just the official ones. Um, potions cauldron do an alcoholic one. There's the non-official one, and they have come out with butterscotch spellbound butterscotch beer. I know you probably ah, there we go. And this is a soft drink. If I can get it. You can see now this is these are this is the same company that makes the cauldron cola and i just think that's amazing i probably don't know if i drink this um or put it on my shelf or add it to the butterbeer challenge that i'm hoping to do once i collect as many butterbeers as i can um but the drinks are amazing all of them do have edible glitter in check out the potions cauldron also at the Potions Cauldron, they have magic meters. Now, I got this because I thought it would look brilliant. Chef Kiss on my potion shelf. This is something that Tilly spotted because Tilly is getting into Harry Potter. Now, it's supposed to... Look how look how lovely that is. Doesn't that look... Now it's, you're supposed to hold the bottom... And if it bubbles at the top, watch it. Oh, there we go. It means you've got magic in you. How embarrassing would it be if it didn't? So, yeah. I just thought that look, that'd look absolutely amazing. I think it comes from the heat of your hand. So I'll put that there. But, yeah, that's from the Potions Cauldron as well magic meter test your magical abilities and it comes in all different colors as well these are my favorite butterbeer chewy candy now i did get the barrel ones of these they are on my honey duke shelf they will be staying there as well um, but I did get just the packet version that will be took in and these are by Jelly Belly as well. Um, I got, what else have I got? Another pin badge. This one was £4. It is a single clasp one. This one feels like a soft enamel as well, but it's potion, Hogwarts potion classes. How cool is that? And it is a single clasp. I do like that. But it, um, the shop that must not be named, they do their own pin badges. So I've got one, one of those. Now, I also picked one up, um, another one, as well. <coughs> Sorry. This will be going, this pin badge here will be going in the Christmas hamper. That will be going up for um, a competition that we will be running at Christmas, obviously. So... This will be going in there in the big C. Um, so from now until Christmas, we will be buying things, sticking them in the Christmas hamper, um, which will be the same one, the same as the magic ones were. Um, 
So that's the first item to put in there. And the last item, which I just really wanted to get for, I think my dark art shelf really needed it. I didn't need it, but my dark art shelf needed it. It is Grindelwald pendant that contained the blood pact. Now that, I just think how, oh, just the intricate details on that. I don't think I'd ever wear it. It's a nice long pendant. I don't think I'd ever wear it. However, however, it's it's going to look really nice on my dark art shelf. Um, it's got lovely intricate details, and on the top, if you can see it. It's got a G. So that is everything that I purchased um, from York. And also a nice tote bag because you've got to love a nice tote bag. I use them mainly to take food in for work. Nice tote bag. Anyway, that's everything from me. I'm going to go and play Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you have a wonderful day day and remember stay magical tatty bye